wanted some things on the set. Now I know this wrong, but it's me. Shorty like Zans, that's up. I'm not here to lecture you tonight. I don't wanna leave it alone. It's about time, let it go. Sick and tired, and I know. So don't play out to get, cause I'm right. I got you. Cause if you're up to it. Hello fairies and welcome back to my channel, it's Therese Andrea and today I'm giving you guys a ton of things in one video. Starting off, we're going to be showing you, I said we like it's like multiple people. <laughs> I'm going to be showing you guys how to tint your 613 or blonde frontal or closures to match with women of color, people of color, anyone with a little bit more richness, melanin in their skin. So I'm going to be using two color tango colors from Willa Charm 1 and 7B. The other in 7 and in. I'm also going to be using some 20 volume developer uh, from the same color charm line, a bowl, a, uh, not a spatula, but a whisk. And this is going to be your ultimate go-to. Um, this is a applicator. It is a feather applicator. I definitely highly recommend you guys to use feather applicators. You can get them from Sally Beauty. Um, I will put all the links below. I got pretty much everything from Sally Beauty or sent to me from Kiss Colors. Yeah, I will link everything down below where you are able to purchase everything. So if you are more or less my complexion, I am more like a milk chocolate. I have like a slight tan to me when I went on vacation. It's kind of disappearing a little bit, but I still have a little bit more melanin in my skin. So if you are more or less my complexion, I would say use more 7NN than the 7B. The 7B is so rich um, in color that that will literally overpower everything. So if you are not that, that, you know um, you don't have that much melanin in your skin I will say the less 7b the better because that color will literally overpower the whole entire um, color concoction that we did so I would do more 7 and in um, and then like a little bit of 7b I never measure when it comes to putting in my developer whether it's you know doing it with um, tinting my lace or doing bleach knots. I never measure. You don't really need that much developer. Just do a little bit in the bowl so that you're able to mix up the both the colors together. And I wanna take my feather applicator and then start applying that to my lace frontal. This is from Asteria Hair. This is like the 50th collab I've done with them because you guys, I love their hair so much. So I decided to try out their blonde hair and they never fail me. I love their blonde hair just as much as I love their natural Color hair so you want to make sure that you're moving really quickly when it comes to applying this on your frontal you do not and I repeat you do not want this to be on the frontal more than five minutes tops I usually like to do four minutes but um, you know if I'm like not really moving too fast I will push for five but you really don't want it to last longer than five minutes on your frontal only because you're just trying to tint the knot so when you first get your frontals or your closures you will see that it's more or less like the white knots on the on the lace and we are pretty much doing the same thing we would do if we were to bleach our knots so we bleach our knots to blend in more with our complexion and we are tinting our knots on our blonde frontal or closures to blend in more with our complexion it's the same thing same concept but usually people don't really do it for 613 hair but I do and it makes a huge difference so you guys will start to see after about four minutes the knots will start to change more of like a brown color which is going to be our complexion um, customizing it to your real complexion of course because everyone is not milk chocolate like me and then I'm going to move on to rinsing it out I'm not going to shampoo it or condition it or anything because I'm just going to take it and then make it into a wig right after this because we're going to be dyeing it conditioning it and all that stuff later on so don't really worry about it just rinse it out and it's not going to be processing or nothing like that um so yeah and I then I will be showing you guys what it looks like this is what I mean ta-da we are all done with tinting our not on our blonde closure or frontal sorry and you guys can see it blends right in with my complexion I would definitely highly recommend that you guys test it out on a paper towel first to see the colors if you're not really used to doing it like me but I've been doing this for so long like a few months now I finally figured it out so I really pretty much know my ratio but it blends right in with my complexion you don't see those white knots anymore literally changed you guys life in like five minutes I know just a little slight change in just doing something so like you would have never even thought to do this this will literally change your wig making life 
Um, now we're moving on to coloring our watercolor. Um, we're watercoloring our wig. I couldn't get out what I wanted to say. But we're going to be using the color from Kiss Colors. I got sent so many colors from Kiss Colors. This is a sponsored video from Kiss Colors as well. I wanted to have a crazy dimension of all types of violet shades. So I'm going to be watercoloring the Vivid Violet shade because I really want that pink to really shine through when it comes to the violet. So when you think of violet purple, you think of like a blue violet, a uh, purple violet, but there also is a such thing as a pink violet so I really wanted there to be a lot of pink undertones and pink dimensions when it comes to you know the different variations of the violet colors I do show you guys later on the three in total the three violet colors that I ended up using but um, I really wanted a the pink to really shine through and different dimensions of the wig so I wanted to watercolor it first don't really worry about getting it all over the hair and like making sure that it's literally drenched we just want to make sure that we just do like one little boop into the water to make sure that the color is you know all over the wig if some areas deposit the color if some areas don't i don't really care i really just wanted to make sure that you know i have my light pinks my dark pinks my violets my pink violets and all that stuff in the wig um when it comes to the lace you guys can see that i kind of dipped that last um that's because you know when it comes to we us tinting our knots on our closure or our, our frontal that is pretty much like a barrier when it comes to the dye getting on the lace but i will show you guys later on the method that you still need to take when it comes to dyeing your frontal because these colors that i'm using today do stain i did go ahead and do this same color method like a week ago and i completely failed because the color came out brilliant but then I stained the crap out of my lace so this is what I mean by I love the different variations I wanted light pinks dark pinks you know all that stuff I really just wanted to make sure that I had a pink violet So I mix all three of these colors together. It was the Purple Passion, um, the Vivid Violet, as well as the African Violet. I mixed all three of those into a metal bowl um, because I feel like the metal bowl is a little bit bigger because I've been using a ton of dyes lately. So I feel like the little black bowls aren't really big enough for me. So I just started mixing everything into a metal bowl and it's a lot bigger. So once I mix all of those three shades together, I'm gonna be taking our comb. So this is the huge, secret as to how these celebrity artists and celebrity stylists hairstylists whatever um, really gets their color on their wigs and it looks perfect and you guys don't see any of the color on the lace that is because they are combing the color on now this can look very tedious and it looks tedious because it is tedious this is very tedious that is the only con to this but I'm telling you guys if you guys get on the bandwagon of doing this, this will literally change your entire colored wigs um, experience. Not only just your experience, but it will literally change your whole technique and just make your coloring just so much better on your um, on your frontals and just your wigs in general to the point where it just looks so realistic. Like the color is literally coming out of your scalp and you will really have people questioning like if this is really your hair or not because I tell you guys, I'll be fooling the crap out of these people out here okay so um the only bad thing is like i said this is very tedious but it is required to have your freaking wigs looking very realistic and very non-stained <laughs> so um once you get the, the hang of it it will kind of pretty much go brushed by but you really want to make sure that you are combing the dye on being very light-handed you don't want to put too much pressure because you don't want any of the dye to get onto the lace and um all you have to do is just pretty much comb it with a light hand and the dye will pretty much do what it's supposed to do just get right onto the hair and attach to the hair and not really like get on the lace at all but you still want to be careful and take your time and um it will pretty much look absolutely flawless i will be showing you guys the end results later on but once you get about a good section of the hair um i like to do the roots first and then move on to doing the ends once you get past like all of doing the whole frontal with the roots 
you know pretty much the, the rest of it is like so easy all you're doing is taking big sections and just putting the rest of the dye onto the hair that part is pretty much easy but the only tedious part is like i said just putting it onto and combing it onto the frontal so that you don't get it onto the lace so this is what it looks like after about an hour or so um i've been moving pretty fast when it comes to this because now i know what to do so it pretty much takes me like 40 minutes to do the whole frontal and then it takes me about 40 minutes to do the whole wig as far as like putting the dye on it so it doesn't really take me that long it's cool though but it it literally makes a huge difference when it comes to my wigs now so i went ahead and washed out the dye i conditioned it for about 40 minutes i will leave the products that i use for that down below as well and then i'm moving on to blow drying you guys already know i always do this set Every single time I come on doing a coloring tutorial, I show you guys what the hair looks like about 80% dry, and then I blow dry it on camera. Um, just to show you guys the different variations and the different color variations that I have going on in the wig. Yeah. So let's dedicate it to Africa. to straightening the hair I straightened it off camera I just used my flat iron which I will link down below as well I got it from Sally Beauty it's like my all-time favorite flat iron ever and I'm going to end up cutting off the ends I cut about one to two inches off this is 16 inches I used three and a half bundles of 16 inch and then a 16 inch frontal like I said from Asteria and then um, it is their blonde straight I didn't get body wave maybe I'll get body wave next time so I'm just cutting off the ends because I wanted the ends to be a little bit more like you know blunt um, it doesn't look too blunt when it, it's like on my head but I just wanted to get all like the loose ends and like you know all the split ends and all that stuff off I wanted it all to be pretty even when it came to you know having a very clean cut wig Mama Africa, Somalia, Nigeria, to Kenya. Yeah. Mama Africa, Ghana, Zimbabwe, Tunisia. As far as applying my wig on, um, you guys may have seen in my post that I put on Instagram that my new favorite adhesive right now is the Janet Collection Isha Lace Adhesive. You guys were totally shocked because you guys already know how I feel about lace adhesives, but with that one, I just, you know, I'm just gonna make a whole separate video dedicated to me putting on my wig, using that adhesive and my thoughts on it, you know, how I like to do it and all that stuff. So I feel like that's like a whole separate video that I wanna do. Maybe I will do it like tomorrow or so um, with the burgundy wig that I just made. Um, maybe I will do it with that wig you guys will just see me like you know trying on my wig and all that stuff right here and then you will just see me pop back up with my wig all on so um that is pretty much why
And then now I'm moving on to putting on my makeup. I do end up doing purple brows, but as I do in every single hair coloring tutorial or hair video in general, I always do my makeup because you guys will kill me if I don't show you guys um, the makeup portion of every single look because I feel like it always complements each other, like the good makeup with the good hair and vice versa and all that. So I do show you guys in video or I will put down in the description box as far as the makeup that I do use. Um, as far as the foundation, portion you guys will see me not record that you just see me pop back up with my foundation and highlight and contour all that stuff done I do have a video out already on my channel as far as that so you guys make sure that you go and check out that video I did post it a few days ago so I will put that in the in this video like probably somewhere in the far right corner or something like that but I do have a dedicated video me talking through it and doing my whole method of how I do my highlight and contour and foundation so please make sure you guys check that out before you ask any questions and just watch in the video as far as the products that I use to make this whole eyeshadow makeup look. Africa, 
Okay, makeup is all done and now we're gonna move on to finishing off this hair. So at first I was gonna leave this hair straight, but I was like, man, that's kind of boring. I feel like I need to do something to this hair and not just have it so, you know, typical, the middle part straight down, it's like kind of whack. So I'm just gonna be using my one and one fourth pair from Hot Tools. I got it from Sally Beauty, I will leave that down below. And I just ended up doing like very pretty, like cute, messy waves. I felt like it literally added to this whole entire look because if I didn't do the waves, this look would have been like, oh my God, the color's mad cute, but you know, she could have did something else with her hair. So I decided to go ahead and do some messy waves. I do show you guys how I do that. I pretty much just curl both sides, use my Sebastian Shaper Spray and Plus Hold and spray that all over and then finger, finger comb the rest of the hair out and then, you know, bring volume to the roots and all that stuff. But I do show you guys how to do all that in the video. So guys, that is the whole entire video. I show you guys how to do your knots on your frontal. I show you guys how to get this very vibrant ultraviolet color. I love this color because depending on where you are, um, when it comes to your different lighting, sometimes it looks blue, sometimes it looks purple, and then sometimes it looks super pink violet. Um, I love this color so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this whole tutorial. I hope you guys love this color. I feel like the makeup just complements this whole entire look just so well. I love the purple brows, the purple hair, or the blurple violet, ultra violet, whatever you guys wanna consider this color. I just feel like this whole entire look is a look. So I hope to see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much and make sure you subscribe to my channel and thumbs up this video if you guys are loving my coloring videos back to back. Bye guys.